put down the life jacket properly and nobody moves. In the loneliness of the open sea, 22 men left to fend for themselves have just lucked into some help. Don't fight, don't fight. They've been on the sea for more than seven hours, and with limited fuel and sustenance, their chance of making it alive to land is virtually zero. Canadian rescue diver Nick Romaniak says it's exactly why he's here. I think my, my job is pretty simple. I mean, we're, we're here to preserve life. That's really it. Um, I don't think anyone thinks that this is the solution. Um, it, it can't be. CBC's The Fifth Estate was invited on board the responder for one of its missions at sea. Every morning at 5 a.m., they start hourly shifts on the lookout for the otherwise doomed death traps leaving Libya's shores. The area they patrol is just outside Libya's territorial waters, and it would be actually Libya's responsibility had it not been mired in chaos and in violence. So in the meantime, they and a number of other foreign vessels patrol the waters with the idea that no one deserves to die at sea. But more have died this year on the Mediterranean than ever. This may partly be why. Rest of you stay seated. Hey. It's the biggest rubber dinghy the crew have ever seen. 170 people crammed on board. With this many people, it can be a death trap. Many are shocked to survive and suffer the trauma of captivity and abuse by the smugglers who put them to sea. I stay in Libya for months. For how much? Four months. Four months. Easy to understand why it's probably the safest they've been in months. It's often the final leg of a much more harrowing journey. Eritrean Fakhreddin Saik dodged organ traffickers and dead bodies in the Sahara. I'm going about uh, nine days by, by my walk, by feet only. No, by car. Nine days. Very, very, very dangerous. The deck gradually fills up. People from Syria, Cameroon, Bangladesh, Sudan, and others. Until something concrete is put into place, uh, that can stop people dying on the scale that they're dying at the moment um, without us being here. Um, just keep on doing it. We have to. Saved at sea that day, 324 people, the first of 11,000 rescued by several ships that week. It's not known how many others drowned and will never be counted. Nala Ayed, CBC News, on board the responder on the Mediterranean Sea.